back again today with another video. And as you can see, we've got a Dreamcast right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and today and put a foreign disc or two in it. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first off, I just want to point out that this thing is way too loud. I'm sure you can hear it on the camera. This, this thing is crazy loud. I don't remember the Dreamcast being this loud. And I'm sure it's going to get even louder when I put a disc in it. Alright, so first off, got a Dreamcast game. Obviously, the Dreamcast game is going to work, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what happens so we can get kind of a baseline test. It's called Hidden and Dangerous. Smiling right this. now. I know some of you guys this don't. Alright, so it's waiting. Loading the disc. I've watched this video before. It's actually slightly funny. Okay. I hear that. It sounds like an airplane about to take off. It's even louder than the original Xbox 360. It's terrible. Alright, so it's. Okay, well, that's not good. <laughs> Absolutely zero emotion. Okay, well, that's not good. Not even an oh no! Or a oh no! <laughs> a console or a console can't even play its own game. That's great. So I got it fixed. Turns out the disc is just a little bit dirty. But listen to that. That thing is crazy loud. I'm not supposed to be that loud. <laughs> you can see it's loaded up now. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Actually, I didn't realize this, but it's pretty cool. I have the... What do you call this thing? The VMU, I think. It has H and D there for hidden and dangerous. I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, so next up, we've got Crash Bash for PS1. Let's go ahead and try that out. No, it's HD for high end definition. If I remember correctly, I think the Sega Dreamcast came out sometime between the... PS1 and PS2 maybe. Uh, okay, so it didn't load up. Try to select it. Alright, so it doesn't even recognize it. That shows the controller. Alright, so PS1, nothing. I guess I was still trying to trying to read it. It was still spinning. I don't know. Alright, so next up we got NFL Street 2 for the PS2. Give this a go. And I always try to have trouble getting these discs out with one hand. Imagine you doing that. Please wait while disc is being checked. Alright, you better not do the same thing the PS1 just did to me. Dreamcast is already a savage. Already. That was quick. Alright, so next we got PS3. So it's gonna be interesting. So. Alright, so now we gotta. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Just silence. Like, well, we're not checking that one out. Imagine if it actually worked, too. PS3 game is missing. Not sure what happened to that. Oh, hey, look, an ad for the game I have, Ratchet and Clank. It's a game in the movie. Come on now. I think. There we go. I hope I don't just, like, destroy this laser because of the... trying to breed a Blu-ray disc. I think it's quick. I just recognize real quick. I don't think they even tried. It says, what is this Blu-ray technology? Alright, so let's get some Microsoft games now. So, first up we got an Xbox game, PGR, Project Gotham Racing. Let's try it out. Oh, here I got a sneak peek of the next one, Batman. Open her up. Hope it at least tries to read it. A little bit longer than PS4. I think it's quick though. This wasn't even spinning. I know it was spinning for the, when I tried the PS1 game, I think. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. How do you know something, but then you say, I think? 
I know the disc was spinning in the first thing, I think. So, Xbox 360, Batman, 3D. We got some, got some hints that maybe the Dreamcast can produce a 3D on my not 3D <laughs> TV. Now, wouldn't that be some advanced technology? Oh, yeah, in case you didn't know, it's November 28th, 1998. Just in case you didn't know that. See, this was published 2017. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> well, now you know around the time that the Dreamcast was made. Okay, so the Oops. Games now, so. Okay. A little bit longer than the PS. Oh no. Interesting. Alright, so Xbox 360 game, Batman. Sorry, I accidentally skipped ahead. Got some, got some hints that maybe the trick can produce a 3D on my not 3D TV. Now, wouldn't that be some advanced technology? Oh, yeah, in case you didn't know, it's November 28, 1998. Just in case you didn't know that. No, it's, it's me. Okay, so this 2017. <laughs> No, you say in videos. If you haven't seen Space Jam, highly recommend it. Go watch it. <laughs> I trust you. Shut up and jam. Try it. 
Charles Barkley always put it in work, so this is better work. Give me that game. game. I can show you how it works. It's a Sega Genesis game. That's a Sega Dreamcast, so there better be some compatibility here. Sorry, but uh, cartridges are supported in today consoles. Not even the Dreamcast. Well, I guess not. Alright, guys, you know what it's time for. You know, I gotta try it. Money. I gotta try some money. Public of Honduras. I don't know why I have this. Public of Honduras sounds magical. Whoa. Well, it sure did try to spin it alright. As I was closing it down. <laughs> spins right off. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. You can see the laser try to move around. Throws it off. Alright, well, I won't put you right on top. Maybe right there. Oh, yeah, go to work. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Nope. Yep. Money is a game. Highly recommend content. watching his videos. He made a silly video where he turned like an Xbox game into a PS4 game. I think. <laughs> Mike the Nintendo Master Two months ago you made a funny joke Oh, I was gonna say What? How did you type up the down? Here, let me read it. Oh, this is the last time I buy a keyboard on eBay. That's literally what he said. With this, uh, what TARDIS said is what the English Gaber 111 said. Bye, guys.